One thing I'm noticing with you is you're anticipating everything. Yeah. It's annoying. <laughs> Some people play video games for fun, but some people are professionals. And that's my guest today, Toronto FC's very first esports athlete, Phil Balky. What's up, my guy? It's good, man. And it's Phil BP, the man from Canada. Oh! What a goal! Hello, hello. What a goal from Filthy. Makes it five. You're a professional gamer. Yeah. How did that happen, man? Uh, it all started in like 2017, and you know, getting the email from EA saying congratulations, you qualified for this event. I was like, what? I thought it was fake, so I emailed them back. I was like, hey, is this like a spam? <laughs> <laughs> like, are you guys serious? Yeah. I went there, like, didn't know anyone. You know, these guys have been playing FIFA for like years, so playing against them, and I'm like, you know what? Like, I'm good at this. Like, you know, I'm good as these guys. Yeah. Ever since then, like, I've never looked back. Okay. How hard are you gonna try right now? Well, I'm I'm saying you're a pro, so I gotta like I gotta come correct, right? So like like I said, I'm I play I play a little bit of FIFA, you know. But are you good at talking and playing? That's, well, that's the, that's well the... I twitch. I twitch, so I do talk a lot with viewers and within my party chat and Okay. And I I'm known to talk a lot of trash, but I'm not gonna talk trash to you. <laughs> it's not this is not gonna be happening today. So you're gonna pick Arsenal? Yeah, I'm gonna use Arsenal. You know what? I'll do Messi. Okay, here we go. What if you win? Yeah, whatever, man. Does TFC sign you then? <laughs> well, Bobby Egg is probably the best player I've ever had in FIFA. Man, you don't understand. He got player of the month one month, so. This guy's trying to have conversations with me. Colossus. He's trying to have conversations with me and then Sorry, puts man. a goal up. Yeah, I had to focus. Are we going to talk quick. or not, Phil? <laughs> Who's the best player you've played, like, um, celebrity wise or. Uh, can I leave Maul for a little while, Phil? Please? I don't know if you know who Stu Holden is. He was pretty good. Yeah, yeah. Uh, him, Tim Howard, and Steve Nash. Serious? Yeah, in, in LA, actually. So, that was pretty cool. How was, how was Nash? Nash was super nice. Yeah. yeah. Was he good at FIFA? No. <laughs> He's a nice guy, though. <laughs> Three nothing in, that, in the first half. Yo, a lot of people... In my league, would look at this. Hey, man, she's doing your league. Well, I, nah, because then you're gonna you're gonna bring my stock down. <laughs> I game, and I look at the I look at esports in a way that most people probably wouldn't expect me to. But I'm interested in hearing what, as a professional gamer, okay. what you think of esports being considered a sport. Um, to me, because I have a background of soccer, so I play semi pro soccer in League One. And to be honest with you, like my love for the game came from soccer. Right, the IQ I have for the game came from soccer, and you put in six, seven hours every day competing, and then you go to the events and you do good there, and you're like, you know what, like, I'm getting results from this, and it pays out. LeBron James, he goes to the gym every day, you know? I'm not physically doing it, but like at the same time I am. You know what I also used to see in um, local tournaments? Oh my gosh, that was a disgusting goal. <laughs> that was a disgusting goal. Phil, no, don't, don't do it. <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> All right, so with being a professional gamer, at least the sponsorships, at least opportunities, so share some of the stuff that you get to do uh, aside from being uh, with Toronto FC. Before I signed with Toronto FC, I became a Red Bull athlete first. You know, we partnered together. And that was like the, the coolest part of me getting, you know, the email saying, you know what, like you have a chance of being like first Red Bull Canada esports athlete. So coolest part about the company, about Red Bull, you know, they, they focus on the athlete. We had like a meeting, they, you know, they asked me how I want to become the world champion. And I told them, you know what, I need mental training, this and that. And they're like, you know, I feel, don't worry, we have someone in Vancouver, uh, company's Ford Tiaz, name is uh, Damien. I got a, on a call with him and he was asking me about my, uh, about my meal prep, how many times I work out and, you know, crazy stuff like Legit, that. like mental training, physical training, exactly, all that, yeah. right. I want a goal. Oh shoot, I was supposed to push pause. Boot! Oh yes, I just didn't wanna, I just didn't wanna get, I just didn't wanna get old, you know what I'm saying? The clean sheet would've bothered me. If it was a glitch. It was, <laughs> <laughs> I 
if I, if I was gonna lose to anyone, man, I'd rather lose to a pro. You're better than what I expected, though. I appreciate that. Well, <laughs> I'll be the first to say that these professional gamers are not joking around. I hope the sport continues to grow and guys like you, Phil, like, keep doing your thing, dog. Thanks, man. It's like a grind, for real. You gotta put like a ton of hours in and you just gotta keep your head down, you know, if you get frustrated, that's fine. That's part of like the road, you know.